Deputy King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, met today with His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, at Qudibiyya Palace. Their Highnesses reviewed current regional and international developments and urged the concerned authorities to set effective plans to provide high-quality services to citizens. They affirmed the importance of fighting terrorism and preventing its impact on development, security and stability, underlining the importance of fighting the deviant ideologies and extremist rhetoric that fuel terrorism. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on the marriage of his grandson, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and wished him a happy marital life. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Qudibiyya Palace. He congratulated His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Bahrain Defence Force or BDF Day. He commended the role of the BDF, which was established with the support of His Majesty the King, to protect the achievements and gains of the Kingdom. His Royal Highness noted the competency and readiness of the BDF Commander-in-Chief and Affiliates. Commenting on the launch of the King Hamid Award for empowering youths to achieve sustainable development goals from the United Nations headquarters, His Royal Highness said that it is a noble gesture that serves the goals of international development. He added that UN member states have agreed to achieve the goals of sustainable development by creating various opportunities to empower the youth. The Premier noted that the award reinforces cooperation between the Kingdom and the UN. The cabinet then welcomed the upcoming visit, visit of the President of the Republic of Turkey upon receiving an official invitation from His Majesty the King. The visit reflects the strong brotherly ties between the two countries and aims to reinforce mutual cooperation. The cabinet wished the guest and accompanying delegation a pleasant stay in Bahrain. His Royal Highness followed up on the implementation of Maharak's developmental and infrastructure projects, such as Project Happiness, directing that the bidding process be sped up by putting the project to public tender. He also directed the prompt development of Raya Road, which links Galali, Samahij and Aldir, and to complete services in all those three villages. The Cabinet approved the expansion of Bahrain International Investment Park to include the eastern region of Salman Industrial City. That comes within the government's plan to diversify non-oil-based income streams by attracting more industrial investments and developing the industrial sector in the Kingdom. 
in order to enhance the competitiveness of Bahrain International Airport and its role as a pivotal airport in the area, the Cabinet approved the extension of the incentives and benefits period for global airlines that take off from Bahrain for two more years. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa ordered the adoption of more initiatives that support the development of the commercial sector by facilitating the issuance of business licenses. The Cabinet reviewed the most important indicators of employment, insurance against unemployment and training for 2016, which reflect success in maintaining a low percentage of unemployment at 4%, despite economic challenges. The Cabinet noted the Bahraini economy's ability to create employment opportunities for Bahraini citizens. The Cabinet reviewed a report on economic indicators recorded during the third quarter of the year. Among the highlights was the growth of GDP by 3.9% compared to the same quarter in the previous year, the 2.7% increase in local and foreign investments and the licensing of 39 industrial projects. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council of Women, the SCW, Princess Abicha bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received the Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abu Ghait today in Al Rauda Palace on his visit to Bahrain to attend the 36th session of the League's Arab Women Committee and the preparatory meeting for the 61st session of the United Nations Commission on the Status of Women. During the meeting, Her Royal Highness emphasized the importance of the close relations founded by Arab leaders and their keenness to enhance joint Arab action. She also praised the role of the Arab League in empowering Arab women regionally and internationally, especially with Women, Family and Children's Administration. For his part, the Secretary General expressed his appreciation to the Kingdom of Bahrain for hosting the session of Arab Women's Committee under the patronage of Her Royal Highness, praising her efforts to support the Arab Women's March, protect the rights of Arab women and further develop joint Arab work. He also noted Bahrain's awareness of the importance of women's role in society that has pushed Bahraini women to be involved in various decision-making positions, which has worked to support their causes with legislation and development programs that contribute to the political, social and economic empowerment of women. The Arab League awarded the Arab Women Necklace to Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Abicha bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, in appreciation of her efforts in supporting the empowerment of Arab women, particularly Bahraini women. The award also comes in appreciation of Her Royal Highness's adoption of projects and programs that aim to integrate women in the process of sustainable development, as well as create equal opportunities between women and men. Her Royal Highness received the necklace after she received at Al Radha Palace today the Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abu Ghait. Present was the participants of the 36th session for the Arab, League, Arab, Arab League's Arab Women's Committee and the 61st preparatory meeting of the United Nations Commission on the Status of Women. Both sessions commenced today and were led by Her Royal Highness Princess Abicha. The SCW President welcomed the Arab League Secretary General and thanked him for attending the meeting. She also expressed appreciation for the League's initiative in appreciation of the development of Bahraini women. Her Royal Highness congratulated Arab women on their day and expressed her desire for this day to receive media attention. She commended the achievements of Arab women, affirming the importance of highlighting these achievements. Her Royal Highness noted the reform project of His Majesty the King for being the main driver of highlighting the progress of Bahraini women and their contributions in various fields. The Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abu Ghait, delivered a speech in which he affirmed the importance of the meeting and the topics on the agenda, which are related to improving the status of women in Arab societies and enforcing their human rights. The Secretary General of SCW and President of the 36th session of the Arab Women's Committee, Hala Al Ansari, delivered a speech in which she stated the presence of the Secretary General of the Arab League affirms the support of the League Secretariat to the Joint Arab March and the development of the system. The representative of the Women's General Union in the United Arab Emirates, Dr. Mohammed Ibrahim Al Mansour, affirmed the support of the Arab League's activities generally and the Women's Committee specifically for supporting causes for women in various fields.
The 36th round of talks of the Arab Women Committee started off with a strong speech by the Secretary General of the League of Arab States, in which he emphasized on the agenda of the sessions, which will include improving the status of women in Arab states, most importantly now, to assure her of her rights, and especially with the difficulties the region is facing. This lays in not only the displacements, but also the political, economic and cultural changes, not to mention the security issues. Another important issue on the agenda will be a strategic work plan about women and safety in the Arab region, especially in armed conflict regions, with the vast expansion of the dispute areas around the region. Also part of the agenda is the previous outcomes of the last session of the Arab Women's Committee. A report will be presented to the group that was prepared by the Arab League on executing the fifth outcome from the Economic Goals of 2030 that was approved by the UN in 2015. It is the goal of enabling women and gender equality. This is Sarah Break for Bahrain International. Commander-in-Chief of Bahrain Defense Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, today visited the legislature headquarters, where he met Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah, Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali bin Salah Al Salah, members of the Committee on Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security, the Committee of Legislative and Legal Affairs in the Representatives and Shura Councils, and a number of the Council's members. The Commander-in-Chief was accompanied by the Minister of Defense, Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalahma, Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Dia bin Sakar al noemi During the meeting, aspects of cooperation and coordination between the BDF and the representatives and Shura councils were reviewed. The Commander-in-Chief hailed the efforts of the council speakers and members of the legislature in developing the country and serving its residents. He stressed the importance of communication with the legislature, highlighting the significance of the democratic movement in the councils. He also commended the role of the representatives in approving the referral of the draft of amending the Constitution and its explanatory memorandum to the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee. He added that since the establishment of the BDF, the wise leadership is keen to provide it with the best preparations available and weaponry in the military industry. Sheikh Khalifa declared that the BDF, in addition to protecting the Kingdom's borders and contributing to the development march, is also an active part in the Gulf defence system. He stated that thanks to the efforts of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and the support of Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the BDF has followed a firm approach in terms of military defence and training. The Commander-in-Chief wished the representatives and Shura Council success, affirming the importance of cooperation between the legislature and executive authority. Under the patronage of the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Health, Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and within the celebrations of the 49th Bahrain Defence Force BDF anniversary, the BDF Royal Medical Services held today an inauguration ceremony and renewal of a number of departments in the military hospital, including the opening of a smart pharmacy, which is considered the first in the region, as well as launching a number of medical devices in various departments. At the beginning of the ceremony, Commander of BDF Royal Medical Services, Major General Professor Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, delivered a speech welcoming the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Health. During the ceremony, the BDF Royal Medical Services Commander presented a copy of the 2016 Annual Report to the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Health. Then the Supreme Council for Health Chairman toured the new departments of the hospital. On this occasion, Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah confirmed that the BDF provides healthcare to all its affiliates by introducing and developing modern technologies and medical facilities. He also praised the high level of quality reached by the military hospital, which came under the directive of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, with the follow-up of the General Commandment, headed by Bahrain Defence Force Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met today with the President of Pakistan, Mamnoon Hussain, during his official visit to Pakistan. The Foreign Minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to the President of Pakistan, and their wishes to Pakistan of further progress. 
the foreign minister highlighted the support given to Bahraini-Pakistani relations from the leaderships of both countries. He also noted the contributions of the Pakistani community to the development process of Bahrain. For his part, the president requested the foreign minister to convey his greetings to His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Khalifa. He also affirmed Pakistan's keenness in developing its relations with Bahrain, wishing Bahrain and its people further success and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met today with Pakistan's Prime Minister, Mohammed Sharif Nawaz, during the Foreign Minister's official visit to the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. The Foreign Minister conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, to the Pakistani Prime Minister, and their wishes to Pakistan of further success and prosperity. He highlighted the efforts of Bahrain and Pakistan to achieve economic growth to meet the aspirations of the two peoples. He also noted the supportive stances of Pakistan towards Bahrain, which reflect deep-rooted bilateral relations, noting Pakistan's efforts in consolidating peace and stability regionally and internationally. For his part, Nawaz Sharif commended the efforts of Bahrain in reinforcing international cooperation, wishing Bahrain and its people further success and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met today with a special assistant to the Prime Minister of Pakistan on Foreign Affairs, Tarak Fatemi. The meeting reviewed cooperation between the two countries and ways to further develop it. During the meeting, the Foreign Minister and Fatemi affirmed the strong ties between Bahrain and Pakistan, noting that continuing coordination and consultation between the officials of both countries towards various issues is a common goal in the light of the challenges that face the region. The two countries also asserted mutual support in all fields. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, attended today the first Bahraini-Pakistan Joint Ministerial Commission meeting in Pakistan. The meeting was held to discuss several issues of mutual interest, including trade, investment, textiles, aviation and others. The Foreign Minister delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to Pakistan for its supportive stances towards Bahrain, which reflect historic brotherly relations as well as Pakistan's support to Gulf, Arab and Islamic causes. He stated that the Joint Ministerial Commission meeting is the result of several meetings between the leaderships of the two countries, including the visit of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa to Pakistan in March 2014, that was followed by the visit of Pakistan's Prime Minister Mohammad Nawaz Sharif in January 2015. He stressed the importance of such visits in developing friendly relations and affirmed Bahrain's keenness to develop cooperation with Pakistan, noting the contributions of the Pakistani community to the development march of Bahrain. He added that the meeting offered an opportunity to exchange viewpoints on various regional and international issues, particularly combating terrorism, stressing the need to build upon this meeting and follow up the implementation of bilateral agreements. For his part, the Pakistani Prime Minister's advisor on foreign affairs, Shirtaj Aziz, highlighted the development of Bahraini-Pakistani relations, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The meeting resulted in one memorandum of understanding on agriculture and marine resources, and another between the Diplomatic Institute at Bahrain's Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Academy of Foreign Service at Pakistan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The President of the Royal Jordanian Equestrian Federation and member of the Executive Committee of the Arab World Horse Organization, WAHO, Princess Alia bint al -Hib Princess Alia bint al Hussein, rather, arrived in Bahrain, where she was received by the Deputy Chairman of the Conference's High Board, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid al Khalifa, as well as a number of the Board's members. Sheikh Faisal welcomed Princess Alia and conveyed to her the greetings of the son of the Crown Prince and Chairman of the Conference's High Board, Sheikh Isa bin Salman al Khalifa, hailing her role in enhancing global values of preserving the breed of Arabian horses. Princess Alia highlighted the leading role of Bahrain in Wahoo commending the effective presence of the kingdom on the global level in equestrian sports. She thanked Sheikh Faisal for the warm welcome, expressing confidence in the success of the conference's events that will take place in Bahrain.
A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,300.89 points, marking a decrease of 1.35 points below last closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the investment sector with 44.82% of total shares. 98 transactions included 4,119,563 shares worth 534,261 Bahraini dinars.